Hey guys, we're Blender 95, coming live from the Little County Prison Cell, so you might be thinking it's a little coincidental that I'm choosing the fight that I am. Uh, well, first of all, uh, by choosing this fight, I get to pump some free publicity into my last video, which is the Dark Pit vs. Sora remake. And secondly, uh, this way, because of the last video, if you watched it, I don't have to explain as much, so it works out. Um, for those of you who have no clue what I'm talking about, uh, get used to that. And second of all, uh, it, the fight for today is Dark Pit, or Pit 2, or I don't really know how I'm gonna label him in the video yet, uh, versus Riku from Kingdom Hearts. This... This works. Shouldn't work that well, but it, it, it sort of works. I mean, there's a, to be honest, there's a bunch of people you can put Riku against that are just fucking emo whatevers, but these are two people that are both like, okay, I may have been made for darkness, but fuck darkness, I'm di they're very Black War Greymon. Oh, I'm a weapon for evil, you say? Oh, fuck off, I'm gonna go ahead and do whatever the hell I feel like. Oh, good guys think I'm with them? Nope. Fuck you too, I don't even care. I'm, I'm walking whatever the fuck I want to walk, you know. They're very Black War Greymon. Um... So, let's go through this. Now, when I said this would be easier, it means I could basically just compare them to their counterparts and then list what's different. So with Dark Pit, um... Now, Dark Pit was created with the Mirror of Truth, but it broke before the cloning process could be complete, so he's not an imperfect clone of Pit, he's just an unfinished one. Um, so because of that, he's naturally... So because of that, whereas he was supposed to be a complete opposite clone of Pit, or he was supposed to be a complete clone of Pit, completely obedient to, to, uh, to uh, Pandora, and Medusa, or whoever the fuck summoned him, I forget. Um, he was supposed to be completely obedient, but because the Mirror of Truth broke, he came out prematurely, and now he has, you know, free will and sentience and all of that bothersome stuff. Um, but the thing and the, the, the difference between them, it, now, many people argue of whether Dark Pit can fly. I think Dark Pit can fly. Like, that that's my personal thing. Now, yes, Pandora jumped because, you know, yeah, he was able to fly in the game by his own power because he absorbed Pandora, but then Pandora later jumped out of him, meaning, oh, he can't fly. But, 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 notice that he did also beat Pandora at the end of the game. It didn't show him absorbing her back into him, but the other thing I'd like to point out is that the power of flight Pit has in Smash Brothers, and by the way, apparently Smash 4 is supposed to be canon to the Kid Icarus franchise. No fucking clue how that works. But because in Smash 4 they talk about how Dark Pit is a soldier for, or is a, is a bodyguard for Viridi, apparently that's canon. So, I guess Smash 4 is canon. Uh, you'll notice that Pit uses the power of flight. Now this, like Palatina's wings, is supposed to be Palatina giving him power to fly up in the air. Dark Pit also does it. Now I bring this up because Dark Pit does not get power from Palatina. Now, you might be saying, you know, what if he's getting it from Viridi because he's his bodyguard now? Or he's her bodyguard now. First of all, does Viridi seem like the kind of person that would give you, let you take her magic? Second of all, we... I don't think there's any evidence that Viridi can do that. Um, Palatina's a goddess of light and rules over angels. It makes sense she would be able to make someone fly. Viridi's a goddess of nature. Power of flight doesn't really come into play there. 
So basically, that's just, that's not, like, really a good argument, but that's just something that may, that makes me believe that Dark Pit can still fly, and not by his own power. Um, but the other differences include uh, his ability to shoot multiple arrows at once, which Pit can't do, but his arrows are dark arrows, like dark energy arrows, instead of light energy arrows, so fitting. Uh, Electroshock instead of Upper Dash, we know that. Yeah. Um. I'm not just quote. This isn't just all from Smash Brothers, by the way. Just to let you know. Um. Actually, yeah, I already mentioned the multi arrow thing, which wasn't from Smash Brothers anyway. He can shoot the arrow. Oh, by the way, speaking of that multi arrows, he can shoot them into the sky and make them rain down. So that's a pretty big thing. Uh, he's got the easy cannon. I believe he has. The, doesn't he have claws or some shit? And uh, his greatest weapon. The staff, which is not a staff, it is a gun. It's a gun. It's a gun, and it, using it as something else and calling it something else doesn't make it something it's not. It's a gun. He is quite literally an angel with a shotgun fighting till the war's won, and he actually does not care whether he heaven will take him back. Because he works for the goddess of nature, so I assume he lives on Earth. But whatever. Um... So, yeah, I mean, Dark Pit. Um, now let's move on to Riku. Uh, kid from the same islands as Sora. Uh, better fighter than Sora. Definitely better fighter than Sora. And it, without question, because back when they were kids... Riku was able to not only take Sora on and beat him, he was able to take Sora, Kairi, and many a couple other of their friends on at the same time and beat them all. So, so Riku, and uh, at many points in the game, when they hear Riku's been defeated, they're like, no way, Riku can't be defeated, he's fucking Riku, he's beating us all. So, Riku is definitely the better fighter between him and Sora. Or oh, Sora and he, sorry. Um... But unlike Sora, who has, you know, Fire, or Faraga, Fandaga, you know, Riku at first had control over the Heartless. But later, just, but now he has control over both Light and Darkness. Um, he's retained many of his Dark Powers, but the more he uses them, the more he runs the risk of being taken by the Darkness again. Um... But then again, he's literally dove into the darkness. Literally. The dark, the same dark power that's supposed to corrupt you. He has literally dove into that after being corrupted and saved. He dove into it and didn't get corrupted. So Riku's definitely built up a resistance to darkness. So I feel like he can just use whatever the fuck dark energy he wants and not have to worry about it. Um... Sorry, my shoulder's a bit stiff. Uh, now, Riku, unlike Sora's Keyblades, Riku's Keyblade, Path to the Dawn, actually has a blade on it. It has, as in a sharpened edge. Making this end, you know, unlike Riku, or unlike Sora, Riku can't dual wield. But as I've said before, he's a much better fighter and actually... Seems to be better with one than he would with two, because he's a, he's, first of all, he's a lot faster than Sora. Um, but, now he can't summon the Heartless anymore, but he can still uh, utilize Dark Energy for things like, you know, just Energy Blast, what, stuff you'd use in Kingdom Hearts. But should he require any, should the situation come to an extreme, he can always wrap himself in his own dark energy, creating, I believe, it's, what is it called, like, the dark armor or something. Um, which... I, I think it actually restores his, yeah. Which, um, basically lets him use his dark energy almost indefinitely. And also increases his strength, speed, agility, stamina, health, you know. It increases him, all of his stuff, to levels where... 
Mo- I, yeah, I mean, most Kingdom Hearts characters won't be able to put up with that. You know, that's the thing. When Riku, if Riku goes into that mode, which he tries not to anymore, because again, the whole trying not to, you know, be taken by the darkness, but still, if he should, but he can still uh, create his dark armor, right? Now, his dark powers have actually weakened since using his light powers, which pretty much run the same span as his dark powers, just with light. Um, but if you're wondering what his light powers is, they're pretty much his dark powers, just with light instead of darkness. So, but his dark powers have weakened, that's why... But if he uses the dark armor, his dark powers basically return to their old power, and he can... Yeah, and again, like I said, all his he gets a power up everywhere... Like, his whole, everything about him becomes stronger. Um, his magic he can pretty much use whenever he wants instead of having to gauge it. So, yeah. And like Sora, he can levitate, basically. I'm not calling it flying because they don't elevate at all, but, yeah. Now, who would win in a fight between Dark Pit and Riku? I'm gonna go ahead with Riku. Uh, much like Sora beat Pit, would beat Pit in my remake, but for different reasons. Um, now, Riku doesn't have quite as much magic, or quite as much diversity in, in his magic, I should say, as Sora does. But Sora, but Riku is a much better fighter than Sora, whereas Dark Pit, though more aggressive, has all of the same experience and all of the same skill being a clone of Pit. Um, and Dark Pit's actually got more weaponry on him immediately than Pit would. But all of Dark Pit's weaponry, or at least most of them, require you know revolve around using Dark Energy. And Dark Energy, which would either have no effect on Riku, or would basically corrupt him, dive him back into the darkness, and power him up more. So, really, you know, none of that's gonna help, you know, Pitu very much. And if it's the other way around, whereas Riku, even if Riku's dark magic wouldn't affect Dark Pit, he still has light magic that he can utilize. So I'm gonna basically go there, where it's not, you know... A controlling aspect that allow it's not the same controlling aspect that allowed Sora to beat Pit and the healing that allows him to do that. Uh, but more of a fact, just Riku's got a naturally built-in immunity to anything Pitu, anything major Pitu could do against him, and he can handle himself better than Sora would be able to. So I'm gonna go with Riku. Um, again, watch my last video if you want to maybe add a little bit of what I said there in that to this to make it make more sense or just watch it because I made it and that should be good enough for some of you some of you don't really care what I make some of you most people who watch my videos just sort of glance on by them so whatever but either way regardless of what when uh, why you decide to watch this is verbal at 95 see ya